Imagine the serene beauty of a forest, a perfect haven for unwinding. However, not all trees offer safe refuge. Some conceal deadly secrets, transforming a tranquil moment into a dangerous encounter. Join me as your guide through the world's most treacherous trees, each with a sinister story. From a man who cut off his penis by consuming fruit, to a fruit that explodes like dynamite, and a tree that bears fruit mixed with LSD, prepare to delve into the darker side of nature's wonders. Deep within the tropical regions of the Caribbean and Central America, there exists a tree so notorious that it has been dubbed the Tree of Death. This is the Manchineal tree, a seemingly innocent and beautiful plant that harbors a deadly secret. The Manchineal tree, scientifically known as Hippomane mancinella, is one of the most toxic trees on the planet. Found in coastal areas, mangroves, and sandy beaches, this deceptively alluring tree poses a serious threat to anyone who comes into contact with it. The Manchineal tree is truly a botanical marvel, but it's important to remember that every part of this tree is toxic. The milky white sap that oozes from its bark and leaves contains a potent mix of toxins, including forbal and other skin-irritating chemicals. Even the rainwater dripping from the leaves can cause severe burns and blisters on the skin. It's said that standing under a Manchineal tree during a rain shower can lead to a painful and blistering experience. The glossy, apple-like fruit, though enticing, conceals a toxic secret within its seemingly innocent flesh. Consuming even a small amount sets in motion a chain of devastating consequences. When ingested, the fruit is reported to be pleasantly sweet at first, with a subsequent strange peppery feeling, and gradually progressing to a burning, tearing sensation and tightness of the throat. Symptoms continue to worsen until the patient can barely swallow solid food because of the excruciating pain and the feeling of a huge obstructing pharyngeal lump. Spanish explorer died shortly after an injury incurred by an arrow that had been poisoned with manchineal sap. Although the plant is toxic to many birds and other animals, the black-spined iguana is known to eat the fruit and even live among the limbs of the tree. So, the next time you find yourself wandering along a picturesque beach in the tropics, Take heed of the ominous warning signs and steer clear of the alluring yet treacherous manchineal tree. After all, it's better to admire its beauty from a safe distance than to fall victim to its deadly embrace. If you've enjoyed the content so far, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could take a moment to hit the subscribe button. Your support means a lot, and it helps the channel grow. Thank you. Brugmansia are woody trees or shrubs with pendulous flowers and have no spines on their fruit. Their large fragrant flowers give them their common name of angel's trumpets. Brugmansia are native to tropical regions of South America. They are grown as ornamental container plants worldwide. They come in shades of white, yellow, pink, orange, green, or red. Most have a strong, pleasing fragrance that is most noticeable in the evening. Brugmansia contains deliriant hallucinogenic tropane alkaloids which cause delirium and hallucinations. Brugmansia species have also traditionally been used in many South American indigenous cultures and medical preparations, and as an entheogen in religious and spiritual ceremonies. Several South American cultures have used Brugmansia species as a treatment for unruly children. Mixed with maize beer and tobacco leaves, it has been used to drug wives and slaves before they were buried alive with their dead lord. All parts of Brugmansia are potentially poisonous, with the seeds and leaves being especially dangerous. Effects of ingestion can include paralysis of smooth muscles, confusion, dry mouth, tremors, migraine headaches, visual and auditory hallucinations, and death. The hallucinogenic effects of Brugmansia were described in the journal Pathology as terrifying rather than pleasurable. And now, a chilling anecdote that sheds light on the plant's dark side. A young man amputated his penis and tongue after drinking only one cup of Brugmansia sanguinea tea. If this series has captured your interest, hit that subscribe button to stay connected. Your subscription not only keeps you in the loop, but also supports the growth of our community. Hura crepitans, also known as the sandbox tree, the monkey no-climb, or the dynamite tree. This is one of the most dangerous and fascinating trees you can find in the tropical regions of America and Africa. Let me show you why. First of all, look at the trunk and branches of this tree. They are covered with sharp conical spines that can easily pierce your skin 
and cause severe pain and inflammation. The spines are there to protect the tree from animals that might want to eat its leaves or bark. But that's not the only defense mechanism of this tree. It also produces a milky sap that is highly toxic and corrosive. The sap can cause skin irritation, blisters, blindness, and even death if ingested. Some indigenous people use the sap to make arrow poison or fish poison. But the most explosive feature of this tree is its fruit. The fruit is a large pumpkin-shaped capsule that contains many seeds. When the fruit is ripe, it bursts open with a loud bang, sending the seeds flying at speeds of up to 250 km h. The seeds can travel as far as 100 meters and injure anyone or anything in their path. The seeds are also poisonous and have a bitter taste. Some animals, however, have adapted to eat them, such as bats, rodents, and birds. The seeds can also be used for various purposes, such as making biodiesel, soap, animal feed, or decorative sandboxes. So, as you can see, Hura crepitans is a remarkable tree that has evolved to survive and thrive in its environment. It is also a valuable resource for humans, but also a potential threat. If you ever encounter this tree in the wild, admire it from a safe distance and don't touch it or its fruit. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more amazing plant stories. The plant is native to eastern North America. It can be found growing in forests or other natural areas, such as rich woods, deciduous woodlands, ravines, thinly wooded bluffs, and the bases of bluffs. The plant's most striking feature is its fruit, whose size, shape, and black stigma scar give the species its other common name, doll's eyes. The berries ripen over the summer, turning into fruits that persists on the plant until frost. All parts of this plant are poisonous, mainly the berries and roots. When ingested, the berries have an almost immediate sedative effect on the human heart and can lead to cardiac arrest if enough are consumed. However, since the berries are very bitter, this is unlikely to happen. The berries are eaten by a variety of birds, thereby spreading the seed to other areas. The birds are immune to the toxic effects of the berries. Enjoying the show? Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on all our future episodes. Your support fuels our passion for creating more content for you. The strychnine tree is a deciduous tree native to India and Southeast Asia, revered by locals as the tree of misfortune. Though tempting, its glossy leaves and enticing oranges belie the imminent danger concealed within the seemingly innocent branches. The strychnine tree grows in open habitats and can reach up to 20 meters in height. They bloom in the cold season and have a foul smell that attracts pollinators. The fruit are about the size of a large apple with a smooth and hard shell that when ripened is a mild shade of orange in color. The flesh of the fruit is soft and white with a jelly-like pulp containing five seeds covered with a soft woolly substance. The strychnine tree houses a potent toxin within its fruits. In small amounts, strychnine is known to be added to street drugs such as LSD, heroin, cocaine, and others. Strychnine is a highly toxic substance that has severe effects on skeletal muscles. Initial signs of poisoning include nervousness, restlessness, muscle twitching, and neck stiffness. As poisoning progresses, muscle twitching intensifies, leading to extended limbs and a curved neck. Arching of the back is a common symptom. Strychnine quickly enters the bloodstream, causing symptoms within 20 minutes. Cramps escalate to powerful convulsions, recurring with minor stimuli. Death often occurs due to asphyxiation from continuous spasms of respiratory muscles. The seeds of the strychnine tree have been used for various purposes throughout history. They have been used as arrow poison, rat poison, and bait for feral animals. They have also been used in traditional medicine as a stimulant, a tonic, a digestive aid, and a remedy for various ailments. However, the use of strychnine is highly risky and often fatal and there is no scientific evidence to support its efficacy or safety. The strychnine tree is a fascinating example of nature's beauty and danger. It is a source of life for some animals, such as monkeys and birds, that can eat its toxic fruit without harm. It is also a source of death for many others that fall victim to its lethal seeds. It is a plant that deserves respect and caution, and a reminder of the power and diversity of the natural world.
Have you ever encountered any of these towering threats? Share your stories in the comments below and let's build a community of fearless explorers. If this journey left you in awe, hit that like button, share it with your fellow explorers, and subscribe for more thrilling content. Until our next adventure, stay curious, stay vigilant, and keep exploring the wonders of our arboreal world.